bless all of you I want you to be aware that we are launching our videos we are live on zoom at the same time on Facebook our sorry we are on YouTube now videos live on, live on zoom at the same time on Facebook we are on zoom so we're on, we're on Facebook YouTube and we're on YouTube. Videos, live, live on YouTube. YouTube. So I'm appealing to as much as we we're can. On Zoom. We're, we're on Facebook, Facebook and we're on YouTube. YouTube. Live on YouTube. Switch off. So I'm appealing to unless you have anything as much to as do. You can. Can. I might not be able to go and regulate the Zoom. Switch we off. are trying the first time now. Unless you have anything to do, so, um, I might not be able to go and regulate your the Zoom. Your your we are your trying the us. first time now. So oh, Esther, you will do that on the background. <laughs> All right, we have Sister Love with us. In the morning, I think we were so blessed. Esther, can you help a bit? Oh, Esther, you will do that on the background. <laughs> All right, we have Sister Love with us. In the morning, I think we were so blessed. Esther, can you help yes, a bit? Please, yes, I do apologize. My wife is not yet in, so when she comes, because of the noise, I have to hand over when she comes. No <laughs> She's worries. She's taking her part. No worries. Yes, please, Esther. Yes, I do apologize. My wife is not yet in, so when she comes, because of the noise, I have to hand over when she comes. You see, we are going to get in no trouble because two no things are running. Let's see how best we can do it. Is that love? Yes, Pastor. Yes, my dear. Let's go now. So let me relieve Esther for the time being. Let's see how best we can do it. Amen. God bless you. Yes, Pastor. Amen. Yes, my dear. Let's go now. So let me relieve Esther for the time being. Let me see. See we are getting to. Amen. 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 Please, I want her to sing one song before we start. Go ahead, my dear. You are high as coming this way. 
Please, Mama, I should sing one song before we start. Go ahead, my dear. Your husband is my father. You are well in this place. You are well in this place. You are some in this place, mighty God. You are some in this place, mighty God. You are worthy of our praise. To you alive we raise. I am in this place. I Thank the living God once again for that moment spot again. And that is peace. Esther, you want to do it for me, please? Go ahead. God once again for that I want to do it. No, 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 do it for me, my dear. I'll be very pleased of that. Esther, you want to do it for me, please? Go ahead. Esther, you want to do it? You can do it. No, 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 do it for me, my dear. I'll be very pleased of that. By His grace, He takes us through in the morning session some few things we need to learn in His way. And for the sake of our brethren that we are not here um, in the morning session, we will quickly go through a short um, and for the sake of our brethren that we are not here um, in the morning session, we will quickly go through a short um, of what we learned in the morning. By the grace of the living God, he led us to know that we had to move from babyhood to mature in our work with him. By the grace of the living God, he led us to know that we had to move from babyhood and by his grace, we, we got to know the five things of good in Christianity. And by his grace, we got to know the five things of good in Christianity. The first was, we had to be born again. And then we become children of God. The first was we have to born again. That is not the end of us. As some people believe that and once we become children of God, that is a lie which we don't have to accept We have to move to the stage of becoming some of the lies which we are living have to accept it. We have to move to the stage of becoming some of the lies which we are living Grace to become servants of God. And then we move on to then we become a friend of servants of God. And then we move on to becoming friends of God. And then finally, we become bright of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then finally, and the reason why we ended that we had to be the bride, that is finally, is because our Lord Jesus Christ is coming for the bride. And the reason why 
and the church one again and the friends and all these rich to go back out of the life for you because our Lord Jesus Christ is coming and in the morning session we knew we got to know that only a bride can enter into the chambers and in the morning session we knew we got to know that only a bride can enter into the chambers that is the holiest of holies. That is where our Lord wants us to be. That is the holiest of holies. And then we got to know that our maturity does not depend on how long we have been in the Christianity. But how the person has built itself to the teachings of righteousness, holiness, and truth. But how the person has built itself to the teachings of righteousness, holiness, and truth. We also learn some characters of the baby Christians. We also learn some characters and at the end we got to know that being a baby Christian, so our chances of entry into God's kingdom is very low. And at the end we got to know that being a baby Christian, so our chances of entry into God's kingdom is very low. And then we also got to know some dangers of being a baby Baby Christian, that includes that we cannot properly work together for the anointing to grow. Some dangers of being a baby Christian, that includes that we cannot properly work together. We also learned that the danger of being a baby Christian is that it prevents us from working together for the anointing well, we also flee. learned that the danger yeah, of being a baby Christian said, is that it prevents us from working together for the anointing to flee. And then we have to also know that when somebody is a baby Christian, we want the person to be a bride. The person is jumping yeah, from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The, the person cannot be do it correctly. The person is and jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person cannot do it correctly. The person is jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person is jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person is jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person is jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person is jumping from baby to adult, so the person would tend to pretend. The person is jumping from baby to adult, by the grace of God, we will be going further to know, to learn why we must mature in Christianity. By the grace of God, we will be going further to know, to learn why we must mature in Christianity. When we mature in our Christian work with God, the anointing comes. When we mature in our Christian work anymore, the anointing flows. For James 1 8, let us know that if someone does, the person cannot receive anything. But when we move to the, the state of maturity, because James we don't one is let us know that if we receive what we want from God, the person cannot receive anything. But when we move to the state of maturity, we don't know if we are able to receive what we want from God. And as we pray, we don't know if we are able to receive what we want from God. We don't know if we are able to receive what we want from God. That causes heavenly visitation. Now, I was saying, you know, 
You have to have to know that maturity creates a faster connection to the spiritual realm. You have to have to know that maturity creates a faster connection to the spiritual realm. We want to realize what's happening in the book of Matthew chapter 16 from verse number 17. We want to realize what's happening in the book of Matthew chapter 16 from verse number 17. Our Lord Jesus Christ asked the disciples, who do you think I am? And the radiant priest will be said, therefore, I said, Now, I'm also, 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 the disciple being ha, having the connection to this living, our say. Lord God will be able nah, to so, do so, it. Until I please the repeat the again, being, so having a connection to the heavenly realm, our Lord God will be able to do it. Until I please repeat it again, so I don't know. Until I please repeat it again, so Yeah. So we have to know that uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, not the disciple, who do you think I am? And our Lord Jesus and Peter Christ being connected to the heavenly realm, the Lord God was able to use him as the Son of God. And Peter being so and when so we mature, we are able to get clear answers to the life problems and the struggles of life very quickly. So when we are able to get clear answers when we mature, we, become, we, be, we come to a state of teaching others instead of us always being fed by other by other ministers of when we mature we, become, we, be, we come to a state of teaching others instead of us always being fed by other, by other ministers of God. And that helps to increase the body or to uh, promote the body of Christ. And that helps to increase the body or to and more so what's being won to the kingdom. And the kingdom of the devil and more souls are being won to the kingdom. This is very good, and the dream of the Lord God is calling us into maturity. This is why when someone matures into maturity, the person is able to practice or to get skilled in the word of righteousness and truth according to first the person is able to practice or to get skilled in the word of righteousness and truth. Let's just say accordingly, I don't run a line by straight for a finishing line. I don't shadow both, but try to make every point count. Accordingly, I don't run aimless by when you are skilled, you don't act anyhow. Every point you make is for a target. When you are skilled, you don't act anyhow. Every point you make is for a target. That is why you are able to 
When we matured, our spiritual senses open. Matured, our that is why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. That is why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. That is why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. That is why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. That is why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. We'll be entering if we don't develop persecution. Exercise our spiritual sense too long from now. You will not find the your pastor being asking for direction. We need to, uh, if we don't develop here directly, exercise our spiritual sense. Nah, sir. We will not find the pastor being asking for direction. We need to, and as a one fantasy, I'm in this, the time that is coming, we realize that before we can stand to the end, our spiritual senses need to be open. In this the time that is coming, we realize that before we can stand to the end, our spiritual senses need to be opened. The example is Stephen. Stephen was being stoned to death. But because uh, the spiritual yeah, eyes was open, uh, he saw heaven, uh, and that strengthened him to stand to the end. Stone to death. Uh, yes, but because the boy. spiritual eyes uh, were open, he saw heaven, and that strengthened if our spiritual eyes and the other senses are not open, in time of persecution, we would think that Lord, the Lord is not on our side. If our spiritual eyes and the other senses are not open, in time of persecution, we think that Lord, the Lord is not on our side. It is very necessary for us to move into the state of maturity and maturity. When we mature, we stop grieving the Holy Spirit. When we mature, we sometimes when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, if we are not mature enough, we will give the Holy Spirit. Sometimes when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, if we are not mature enough, we will give the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit being an obedient spirit will not speak to us anymore. And the Holy Spirit being an obedient spirit, and that spirit will let us fail at the end. And that will mature Christians fight a good fight of faith. Mature Christians fight, you don't fight consider faith. your neighbor as your enemy, nah, but you see the devil or the adversary as your greatest enemy. Nah, you don't consider your neighbor as your enemy, but you see the devil or the adversary as your greatest enemy. Mature Christians keep their body spirit and so be blameless for the Lord Jesus Christ. Mature Christians keep their body spirit and so be blameless for the Lord Jesus Christ. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse number 23. 
According to First Thessalonians chapter five, the Bible says, "May the God of Shalom make you completely holy. May your entire spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless for the coming of our Lord." The Bible says, "May the God of Shalom make you the one who is calling you is faithful." May your entire spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the one who is calling you is faithful. Well, as mature Christians, we need to exercise our spiritual sense. <laughs> And it is say, yeah, yeah. And yes, I mean, pick it from here then. Say, yeah, Nipa, yeah, you know, we're ready, mono, as I say, yeah, home, home, I didn't know, and I'm cutting your dear Juma. Someone who is maturing in Christ do not struggle to live holy life. Obi, I want you to know, I want you to because he has he or she has trained himself to walk intimately with the holy God. When we look at all the various religions in the world. What distinguish our God is his holiness. That is why he's calling us into holiness. And we must not struggle to walk with the Holy God. All we have to know is to put in, in our mind the after effects of sin. Then that will motivate us to walk with God in His holiness. When we mature in Christ, we depend on Christ and not on ourselves. As the scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. As we learned earlier on, our our stage or our final stage of growth in our work with God is to become His bride. As you all know, a bride has a bridegroom. And this our bridegroom is our Lord Jesus Christ. And he said in his word in John 14, from verse number 2 to 3, See, I'm going to prepare a place for you. You know, and every good bridegroom likes to prepare a place before he or he brings the uh, bride in. And then 
And now our Lord Jesus Christ have done the same for us. Now he is ready. He has finished preparing the place for us. But the question is, is the bride ready? Is the bride ready to meet the groom? Are you ready to the groom made us know what he wants and what he don't want. So are we ready? We all know that when a bride wants to marry, when you see the bride, there are some characters that you see on the bride that shows that she is really ready for the marriage. And then on the wedding day, when you see the bride, the outward look, there are some things you will see that you will see that this is a marriage day for this bride. And generally, what some of the characters we see is that number one character, we see that this bride will wear a white gown. And Let's forget about how people have modified the marriage today and concentrate on the original one. Today you will see uh, some bride with different colors of clothing. And we are talking about the white pure garment, which is a gown. And then the and then another features we can know that this is a, a marriage feast for this bride is that the bride will have a lace veil on her head that look like a head covering. And Forget about the face painting because that is not uh, 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 this is not part of that uh, a bride is ready. Make up on Nanka Kanima, Yadia, Yadi, Yachi, and you know, Mawa, Wagan, and Kernoso, and Unka, our rear, and answer, are you Freud and Hussey, see a hook And the bride put on a white shoes. Are you Freud, a shampabua, a yifita? We'll be looking at these three things one by one. I believe that before we end this um, teachings, the Lord will, will stir up some of us that we will strive hard to become bright of him. The bride presents uh, represents a believer who needs to get ready as a bride of Christ. And this bride needs to be clean so that he has nothing to hide from the bridegroom. 
na na hoti na na hunyina ya kama kama asade ba ya yifro kunu ne ba wonne no mie no betimi ase the bride must be both inward and outward holy as i say eh nimu ene abonti nyina eya konkono the bride must not have any grudges in the heart against the groom sadano ene kwanse ayefro eyire no Enya bufuo anase tinimo kambi emani kuno. But that day is a happy day for them. Dani ya nije dasron kukra. So now let's look one by one about the uh, the meaning of how the bride has adorned, uh, will adorn herself. Yanshe, na yenyang hunumone ananti asye, ewo ayefro yiri na hofa diye no. We we learned earlier on that uh, the bride must have a pure white gown. No, me no, yes, sir. I say, as I say, I afraid you know. Now, tell the shadow, no, a yard at the future are a chin in us here. According to Revelation 19, from verse number eight to nine, your hand and a dear sermon, a tea, a dunkno, a teacher, more and what she a copium and conono. Please tell somebody read for us. Revelation the chapter number eight nineteen verse number eight to nine. I'll read it. Fine linen bright and clean was given to her to wear. The fine linen means the good things done by God's only people. And the angel said to me, write this. Happy are those who have been invited to the wedding meal of the Lamb. And the angel said, these are the true words of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible also talk about the righteousness acts of the saints. Chakonkono eka safa atsini fwo ye subayin ana se ye nyume diye. We wonder what is the righteous acts of the saints. Minu mi yenu bebo isa ya hon se. Watsini ni ni nyume diye ya konkono ene diye hen. Our righteousness was given to us by Christ. So as long as we hold on and then work on this righteousness, it becomes the righteous acts of the saints. Uh, I would like to make an example for some of us who may not understand this. For instance, when uh, Pastor Gabriel buys something for the wife, when I asked the wife, oh, this is a nice shoe, he said, oh, it's my husband who buy it for me. But it will get to a time after one, two years. You said, ah, oh, airful, I am media. <laughs> but when it becomes like two, three years, when people show appreciation or uh, give a compliment, the person, yeah, that is mine. This is because she has learned to use it and has taken it for herself. Ah, not just So righteous, righteous acts of the saints is cause our righteous deeds. And into any particular so the fine linen that we are talking about the bride has to adorn himself so that he might be clean and must be blameless before the bride 
Aya hati adifufua asasa ayefro yire no Edhisha na nehu ekusha na nehu ati na nehu ayefefefe ama ayefro kunu no These garments must be maintained clean and white It must not get filthy Sata adiei every sign Yebesha ayefro shia nase kopi mna wye yeno Esese eye pepepe efini kikawane dembiye niko ese bemwo this is what the scripture tells us in the book of Second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. The scripture advises us to clean ourselves from everything that contaminates and defiles the body and spirit. And 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says we should keep our body and soul and spirit holy and blameless before God. Thessalonians 5.23 say The Bible made us know that he gave us uh, the rope of righteousness. Every day before we go to bed, there's one thing we have to do. We have to pray that in any way whereby our garment has been defiled, the Lord should cleanse us. Someone may ask, but the Bible says that uh, anyone who has God's spirit do not sin and cannot sin because God's spirit remained in him. The truth is you cannot intentionally sin. But the places we go, the things we watch defiles us. And with this, we need to, before we go to bed, we ask our Lord to purify us before we sleep. So that's what the Bible is saying in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, that we keep our bodies so and spirit holy and blameless. So we will know that these pure garments means that it, we have to remain righteous before God. And the second point we saw that the head, the bride have a head covering or a veil. This is that the bride must not think of any other thing than the groom on that day. The bride must be single-minded person. The bride must focus on heavenly things, not on the earthly things. Matthew 2, 20, Matthew 22, 38 says that love the Lord your God with all your soul, spirit, and body. And Matthew 10, 37-38 says that whoever loves his father or mother or his children is not worthy of me. So the head there or the veil represent a single-minded bride. 
and in this sa of a Freudian catason, a year a drene, a year a drene by a compet, a see you soon, Kuma Sodano. That is why the Bible said that when a woman you are going to pray, you cover your head. When T and our current form of my edit kind, a T do by a corner, as she said, or bad be a raw bomb, pia, one catan, it is so no, we go in the tea who fee, and answer any kuno who fee. When we get this understanding, we will not struggle to put on our head here or cover our head when it's time for worship. The third thing we'll look at is the pure white shoes that the bride puts on. It represents or it signifies our work with God with a perfect heart. Someone may ask, what makes a perfect heart? Or how can I have a perfect heart? A perfect heart is searchable. It's very, very plain. Psalm 139 from verse number 23 to 24 says that, Search me, O Lord. And know my heart. It is our time that if we want to be bright, we have to pray that such prayers. We have to ask God that He to search up and convince us of any unrepented sin. We must be willing to allow the Holy Spirit to search and reveal sin from our hearts. And when we are convicted of the sin, we must not struggle to accept and repent. And we must not ignore it. Because we have allowed the Holy Spirit to search through us. One thing we have to know that a perfect heart is trusting. Psalm 57 verse 1 says, Be merciful to me, O Lord, for my soul trust in thee. This means that we must not have uh, wavering faith in time of trouble. And we must learn to depend on the powerful grace of our Lord Jesus. Never trying to turn left or to the right for help. Another thing is a perfect heart is broken. Psalm 51 verse 17. 
The God will not despise the one with a broken and a contrite heart. It means each time we fall into sin, we must be quickly to realize it, mourn for our sins, and then repent from it. Now that we have looked at the three things that we'll see in the bride, that shows that this is a wedding day. I believe by now, by the part of the Holy Spirit, some of us have want to take the decision of jumping or of coming to the state of becoming bride of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> So now, how did our Lord God adorn his bride? We have already looked at how the things that we see among men the things that when we see we know that this person is the wedding day so now we are going to look how our lord god had done his right Let's read Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. Isaiah chapter 61 the verse number 10. Prophet Isaiah chapter 60 and 1 verse number 10. I read from simple to read Bible or youth Bible. Isaiah chapter 61 verse number 10. I read in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. The Lord makes me very happy. All that I am rejoice in my God. He has covered me with a cloth of salvation and wrapped me with a coat of goodness. Like a bridegroom dress or adorn himself for his wedding. Like a bride dress in jewels. Mm. We also see that uh, our Lord Jesus, our Lord God, cherished in the cloth of salvation and the robe. For righteousness. But uh, we have already learned about um, the rope. So we'll go ahead to learn what the Bible is also um, make, uh, making us know in Ezekiel chapter 16. Put jewelry on you, bracelets on your arms, necklace around your neck, a ring in your nose, earrings in your ears, and beautiful crown on your head. 11 and 12 is where I read. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This is a scripture that many uh, sometimes contradicts because of uh, our lack of understanding. Aha, Anna, a Christopher Bebre, Omuti, a conqueror of one church. No more one to check that. Sounds so much. A dear potting way, Auntie, a radical sass. Our Lord God uh, represents Israel as the bride. And we, we all can testify that our Lord God did not bring one woman 
and then put on all those things on the woman. Yen chero be biya se eradi ye Mary Martha, Mary Madeline. Ana se huwa huwa isi ho. Eno de sa ni manu gunu komo. E de sa ni manu tonin sa se ne de mino ye wedding. Yen chero be biya sa. But the, the Lord God demonstrated something which has spiritual meanings to that. Ne momu no. What is San Yeme Yen Sen Yin I Ho Ma Ye? Ah, Emma Hum Hum Hunumu, Emma Ajidifu Ewe Yemri. And by the grace of God today, the Lord and the Holy Spirit will reveal the truth to us. Na Eradi Nam Na Dom So Nam Nam Ho Hong Kong Krum Hunumu Ni Ni Nyan Sa So Bema Minu Miyo Ninti Asye Ewa Sa Atre Imo. The Bible talk about the bracelets on the wrist. Wa Se Che Yo Kong Kong No E Kasa Fa and kawa ah ya di inkapo ah ya di gu ya nsa inkapo ya necklace or chain on the neck ah komari ya ah wadi atu nukomu jewels on the nose e hini mong kawa earrings on the ears eni asu mong kawa and then the bible further Continue for Ezekiel chapter 16 from verse 11 to 13. Ezekiel. The Bible continues. For Ezekiel, it is a good thing. And the Jemu Duba, I can't copy me to me and say, I can't come out here and say, sir. It continues to say that the bride was given fine flour. I say, I buy a lot and answer, I am from no, what man, I bought it for fair and born no. And a, a, a pastry made of fine flour. Oh, what they uh, a near ma ah, ya true at a trundia ah, what they is some ah, and we no 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 no, and all they are here. And then honey and oil. Now, what they are war and they and war and a car home. But most of the times, the many people uh, base only on the jewelry side and forget about the flour, the honey, and the oil. Nanso, it's also ni pa yer epe ni boni aye no pe ni ya nunti odun kawani hini mukani sa kawani anu ejina ne mo me wo ene a a wa wadi yer bi anu di a wadi enka wa se mo ho. But today we will learn all so that we can know when to stand. Nanso ene. Eradi ama ho kwa yebe suye ni yena sadebe ya minu miyo no yebe nye nye na suwa eti miye jina wa eradi mo. We have to know that all the jewelries mentioned in the Ezekiel chapter 16 signify the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Nese sa minu miyo no ti ansi ya ni se. Sa afadye yi anase kuma diye ni egu diye ni yena e jina homa kwa ya hon konkron faso eba di pa brabo mo. The, um, then the Lord that the Lord gives to the bride to make her look beautiful. So let look at this, let's look at these jewelries one by one. The first one is bracelets. And as you all know, bracelet always come on the hand. And because it's on the hand, it signifies the gifts of power. It's the gift of faith. It's the gift of working of miracles. Adum anase ahuwa diya diya nse nchile ni. The bridegroom giving us this, he wants the bride to be beautiful. So, when somebody, when a, when a, a bride or somebody who is prepared to be a bride is having this gift, he help the person well to promote the kingdom of God. Aya radi ya kumasu adi ya sene yire humbe yefe. Eni niti so de hono, hono 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 beti sana yimua. Ete sade wade saa nkawei egu yensa. Na ma watine nini e mwa yefe. Nwa wafata ayifro yire e wasa dano. So this bracelet is the gift of power the Lord God give to the bride. Eni ti saa nkapoi eye erade aduma cha dia. Eye tsumi aduma erade edema ayifro yire no. Our Lord God wants the bride to have faith in him. 
Erade ebesa ne yire no enya hoto so ana gidie e woni mu. He want that when the bride laid hands on the sick, the sick will be set free. Opesa na ye for yire no de ne nsa so ayare for so woni nya ayare sa. So he adorned the bride with such beautiful bracelets. And it that is was a power. And kapo fe fe fe. Atu na ye for yire no nsa na ne ho aye fe na ne ho aye ni kan na ne ho aye akono. We all know that our Lord, the bridegroom has the power in his hand to, to heal the sick and to raise the dead. So he give, because he wants the bride to be like him, he give it to the bride. So the bracelet signify that gift of power. And so when we go and buy uh, buy bracelets and put on our hand, we are trying to make mockery of the gift of God. Because we are saying we have the gift of power. But meanwhile, you cannot even raise uh, uh, an aunt that is dead. Now, I a woman who said, On a scramble, went to me, poor man in Sasokra, and eh, 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 the gift of power we can see in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. And 1 Timothy 4 14. And Timothy Noma Edikai and Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Most of the Noma and Deuteronomy no. Eti Aduno saying. 34 9. We will know how the gift of power manifested. And so the second ornament the Lord adorned the bride is the necklace or a chain on the neck. Ah, a fa dear ba kwa a rade a kasa wade ma ni yine no eye kuma dear. It signifies the gifts of the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. We all know that in the book of Daniel chapter 5 from verse number 16. After Daniel had interpreted the language to King the Shatsa, he was given a necklace which represents that he has been able to use the the word of wisdom and power. Ebra Daniel, it's in me. Etchra chere or hen bersas and a dias, you know. Christopher will be a mocassa answer me. And a Daniel, a man who come, my dear Tunicum, we are Daniel. What the man with sons who are young, sir, at the church or hen and some are walking us. So it's it's a symbol of the gifts of wisdom and power. And in the ayen so shadiye ana ejinadiye ema nyansa eni tsumi in sem kamo adumadi. So when you go and buy necklace, whilst you don't have these gifts, you are lying. You are deceiving yourself. And in the same no mi ano desa ko madiye tsi yoko mo na nyansa sem ka eni nimdiye yeniya na chasa yedi ya hufeo. The Lord God give this necklace is a spiritual thing to the bride so that the bride can be able to uh, uh, to have the gifts of wisdom and knowledge. And so it is a gift of the Holy Spirit. It helps us to solve problems. So 
So the Lord wants the bride to be beautiful. You know, when you have this gift, you are beautiful. So if I have this gift and you are just putting on necklace, who is who? And it's here you. So how much are they doing me? To me see one will be any age. Hey, get brava. And then what's the show? Who are you? The Lord give us so be beautiful as the bride. So, uh, with this gift, when you are being called before kings and queens, you will speak and they will marvel. So, what is hard to me at Shawa? Nasa Ojinam Panyum four, and yet it's true for any ma. What can you answer some? No more than no more boom with no, and you among us eat. I could win him if we look at Acts chapter 4 from verse number 13, Peter and John, being a bride of our Lord Jesus Christ, when they were being called and being questioned about their faith, because we are having this necklace that represents the word of wisdom and knowledge. They spoke and the kings marveled. The Bible says in Matthew 10, 19, The Holy Spirit will give us what to say when it comes to difficult times. So if we become bride of our Lord, and it is a minimum by yeah, yes, Christ and an for year. In time of difficulties, the Lord will speak to us. We don't need to go to the market and buy necklace. Pray for the spiritual necklace. Why do we expect the Lord to give us ritual one when we have already put on our natural one? So there is a need for us to seek for the necklace that the Lord gives. The Bible also talk about the jewels on the nose. Most people will go and then buy a um, ring and put on their neck. And then your friend the But the jewel on the nose, our Lord is our Lord God gives signified. The gift of discernment of spirit. The Lord gives us discernment of spirit. The bride of our Lord Jesus Christ need to have this nose ring that represents the gift of discernment. 
Aduma chadi ya eye unhunu mo e wana bara bomo nuti ni jina wa brebi mo acheno. If we focus on the uh, natural ring nose. Se mi nyo mi ano di yadu ni kwe si wi ase ana hune mu enka wa edi shi ehuni mu imwa. We cannot anger for the nose ring from our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the sending. Eh ma yakra ni ehu ehu mu eko no ehu ehu mu enka wa a edi shi ehuni mu e jina ehu ma ehuni mu e wabradi mu no. The Bible says in the book of uh, Matthew twenty four twenty four. The Matthew chapter nine, chapter nine, no. He made us know that the time that is coming, if possible, even the elect will be deceived. Was it a baby? Ba, na sempo ya huya. Even the elect will be deceived. Was it a baby? Ba, na sempo ya huya. Wamu a wey you wanna see no? What time for no be do on so in kuno ba da da wano. But with this no string of this, that represents the gift of discernment. We can be able to stand to the end. Now, so so the sound of the day at Dumia, we know me a bit me at Nasi Akopima. We yet to what is the need of me piercing my nose when I cannot descend that even an angel is here? If I saw Ben, I was so Samuel Bonnie Bonnie, me, Hunimun to crow, Nampo Sabofo, a giant chancra, you who know. It is about time the bride of Christ. Must get close to the bridegroom so that he give us with this gift of discernment. Ever do say yes, Christ? So are you from no action? Be new, no, no. No, the sun ye may at me as you say, you know, the yet me at me, you know, never a woman, and not the enemy, my own prim primo. Hebrews 5 14 say we should train our powers of discernment. Hebrews 4 over 18 no, and teach him do nine and say. As I said, Danny Danny, now you saw Sa Huni Moa, Yetimi Yang Hunumono, Yetimi Esonoshe. Matthew 16 said that we should be able to interpret the signs and the times. At you as Empire, Eti Dunsian, Tijemun Sian, says the same new me, you know, Yetimi Yang Hunumon and Tiasia, now Yetimi is Esher and Mere, and then now, now Yetimi Etiasia. That is why our bridegroom wants us to be beautiful by giving us this. Now let's look at the earrings. It signifies the ability to, to hear and include the gifts of prophecy. The Bible says, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. What is the need of having a bridegroom when we cannot even hear his voice? That is why the bridegroom wants to give us the gifts of this hearing that we might hear his voice when he speaks. We ain't seen a yaif who could not pass. What in a sumo car was saying, said the abaya, what time for the Diana de Maya Nissi as Suono, Yan Yinche, let me at your Jim Quanane. That is why we don't need to go for hearing, but rather we pray for the Lord to give us the gifts of hearing from Him. And ain't seen a way here. This artificial hearing cannot make us hear in the spiritual realm. What you are saying, sister, is prophetic, but people might not take it so seriously. There was one of our sisters who had a revelation, and the Lord said that when they put on this artificial hearing, it blocked their spiritual ears, especially the big ones. It brought your spiritual hearing so that they can't hear. And for so bad, crying, I was to say, who causes us to hear? And then to your account, you have to hear so this, this gift of hearing includes the gift of prophecy, divert tongues of tongue, and interpretation of tongues. According to 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1, and 1 Corinthians 
Ena enti chemu dun wa kishe no. And then first Corinthians twelve eight to nine. Corona te fomo ma idi ka enti dumi eno enti chemu wa kishe no mkrono so kasa mkrona biwa ho. We all talk about gift of prophecy. Nini na ka kasa fufro a DSM. Ene insenche ni ya hudu nina ya hum humu ni ya maase. Now we have to look for the, we have look at the uh, jewelries or the ornaments. The Bible also talk about flour, honey and oil. Afe ya hum agudi ya nwa na ezeke ya waka huwasa mna. Say ya hum humu ni ya mawo. Nchilesa wansu kokotobi. Nefe guo hum. Na afe ya nre. Pa anona watun ya nwa. Wasi wadi ya nwa. Ene. 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 Any is some, any is some, is some, and one and a war. We all know that flour is very, very important. Every woman will have flour in the house. Yay! Oba, worry for beer, I will be in fear. Is some and panic fear that this flour represents the word of God. We are going to have a yummy as some pano or the better pano. You know, my yummy as some. Romans 8, Romans 10, 17. It says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Asuma for Paul and Mama, what you know, come Roma, for no, it didn't teach you, don't son, and say, wasn't a GD and Yamia Sem T so an eba. But I would see Yamia Sem, the Yamiaka, the Yamiaka, Uti, Uti, and I'm only GD, O Yamimo. You shouldn't get tired of hearing the word of God. We ain't seen any quarrel, Sammy, no, you know, after your bread, as Sammy, a tear bread, there be, there be, there be, O Yagid, da. Our bridegroom wants us to continue to enjoy this fine flower. Amen. Amen. And the Bible talks about honey. It represents the joy of the Lord. That is our strength. The Bible said in Psalm 34, verse 8. The Bible said, Taste and see how good the Lord is. We should continue to enjoy being in the presence of God. We should, we should always hunger to be under by his feet. As I say, I come to you. Say, I'm a better than the nurse, and I'm a better than the nurse. You should never get weary. And you can see a bro, a bro. A bridegroom never gets weary of the bride. I am from the bride. You can't get weary of the bride. You can't get weary of the bride. You can't get weary of the bride. Amen. 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 And then we have to see the oil too. I want to see the oil. It's time for fresh anointing of oh. the Holy Spirit. Oh, and you know how many people are there? You from from? What's that? The people there? The people there are not so fe 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 fe. Yeah, this will make us beautiful in and out. We are my enemy, shrine. You know, you know. Just that the people are not so dear. Eda, you know, since the enemy shrine. According to Psalm 92, verse 10. We will have the strength of a bull by the anointing. Yes, yeah, so that is the oil of the Lord is giving to the bride. Now we have to see the oil of the Lord. So these are the things that the Lord desires to give the bride. Mama, we ain't in your agenda quite yes, a crystal what the mouse are you for you? So are we ready to grow and mature? We know me a crowd of say you be ni me. Now son yeah my be who know near the boy and bra no buy a near at me can name. I don't know if we have enough time, but I think we will end here and tomorrow we continue. Our mind cannot contain all these things. I'm telling you, we need to sit down and do no swear well. Amen. So please Amen. give us a time to absorb it. Yamre ninti yadu be siha na wachina sambe na nebe chine ebe tuas na wachu ni na mami yeni na neya disi na mabre on ubi sumi bi aden. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. Run up, mame. Ana wewe. Yeah, let me run up, please. Amen. <laughs> Amen.
Amen. I, I have desired to move to the state of having a bride. Media, media, Gio, and I'm a prayer. We are set. Miss Yes, I'm a whole set. Are you afraid? I'm ready to wait on the on the Lord to give me all this wonderful ornaments. My crown is a match. I am ready. Nanya, my papa, Biara, as a man, Saka, a year, you know, they are dumb. I want to throw a challenge to everyone on this platform. Na awiye me to nsafre woni pa bibre bia da wotie ya ne say Facebook, say YouTube, say radio so. Let this word stay our inner man. Ya masa nsemi frase en Kenya ya honhom. So that we ever desire to be with our bride. Na me no me no pere hwa se ba bia ya kunu no wono ya betna ho. He said he has prepared a place for us. So a CSC ever be papa be a mammy no me no. He's a man that can never lie. When you're ni pound, when you're trying, when you be so down, when you be so da. He's a God of truth. When you're in your cup, when you're in your cup, the works of his hands are so beautiful. Then sound in your mind, you know, mama. Therefore, we must believe him by his word. And it's a new summer, what can you know, and summer, I bet him, dear, what to so near, dear, dear, man, I hear you. Even the men, our bride and our groom, we have in this world some way or somehow deceive us. Where the one can he? If we are still going, we are still not for that. I am not that day. No, no, no. But we have a God that can never lie. And so, you will not get to see me on Sunday. We need a true da. We need a kofiye da. He is calling us into His kingdom. Now, friends, yamra na hiniyamo, yamra ni amatsi na babi wati a asunji wa honi bi. And before we can get there, asa na minu mi anebeti mi adu hano. We have to reject this world. Asa minu mi anu kuri ase. And everything in it. And ni amani ni wamu biara. That is why he said in his word. And into the work of one else, Musa. No man can serve two masters. Oh, ni babi biya biara na wabeti mi asuma ura numu mi no. You cannot serve this world and serve him as well. You will choose to love one. So our Lord is calling us to an intimate walk with him. He said, draw near to me. And I'll draw near to you. Most of the times we wonder. We want to see you. But I want to assure us that. Our Lord desire to show himself to us is greater than our desire. So let us strive hard. And strengthen ourselves with this word. For he who has called us faithful. Amen. Amen. I will never, never go back to the world. Never go back to the world. Never go back to the world anymore. Sister, never, never go back to the world. Never go back to the world. Never go back to the world and then I will never, never, never go back to the world. Never go back to the world. Never go back to the world and world. Never go back to the world. The Bible says that the Lord is coming and his bride is ready. This is coming. Are you ready to meet your bridegroom? 
Have you got your shoes? Have you got your white robe? Do you have your veil, your white coverage? Have you got your bracelet? Have you got your necklace? Your ears and your nose ring, have you got them? What about the ring itself, the finger ring? Have you got one? As the Lord use our sister to talk to us. No bride. No bride. We we'll just walk into the aisle without having these things. People will even mock at you. What is he doing here? And no pastor will be me standing there as I'm waiting for today. The envelope, the, the invite have gone out and the pastor is waiting. There's going to be a wedding day. And somebody coming naked. What about the visitors, the angels, the holy angels? There is a great expectation on that day. Now, everything that you and me need for that day has been provided through the Holy Spirit. Through the word of God, we have everything available. Now, if on that day we are not dressed, we are undressed on that day, it means that we have disappointed the bride and have wasted his money for nothing. He has, we have wasted his blood for nothing. Oh, are we going to allow the blood to be wasted? He has paid a price for us. He paid the debts. He did know all the debts. I could not pay. I need a someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing. I brought you song. Have secrets Lord Jesus Lord Jesus I could never Sister Love, I don't want to steal this atmosphere from you, darling. Can you continue to lead us to pray, sister? As the Holy Spirit will urge you point by point. Please, may the Lord undress those physical and natural things Cannot thing that we have put in place of the spiritual aspect. Please, can you lead us to pray those prayer? Amen. 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 Esther, yeah, please come in now. Please. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Love. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh, Lord. Forgive me. And I, and I believe to believe in, in the lies that you are unable to help me. And I know I see my wrong. Heal my heart. Show. Be magnified. 
I want us to come to a state of repentance. We have to have a broken heart before the Lord and repent of our ways. The Lord is merciful to forgive us tonight. Let's begin to pray to the living God. <laughs> How many times have we broken your heart by yourself for How many times have we disappointed you by yourself How many times do we run? How many times do we run for your enemy for him to make us feel beautiful? Forgive us, Forgive us, merciful God. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Breath of God, Lord. Breath of God. Fill me with life. That I may love that love. Speak up on me, my Lord. Show me your way. Show me your disaster, Lord. Let me love what you love and hate what you hate. Lord, let me to love what you love and hate what you hate. We are going to pray that the Lord should breathe His breath once again on us. His breath will make us love the things He loves and do the things He loves. Let's begin to pray. For the breed upon us, breed upon us, breed upon us, oh God. Breed a fresh air. Breed a fresh air on us, oh God. That we inspire us to love what you love. That we inspire us to be hungry for you. In the name of Jesus. Breed upon our breath of life. As it did the day of Pentecost. As it did the day you created us, oh God. That other body became responsive to you. The breath of love will cause us to become responsive to your will. The power of love cause us to become responsive to your purpose. Oh, in the name of Jesus, breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe upon me, O God. Breathe upon me, my God. She did it on Sunday. Create a new personality in us. Create a new personality in us. Make us a new. Make us a new when you are blessed, O God. Make us a new when you are blessed, O God. That you spare us and give us strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray our madness prayer that the Lord should grant us a new garment, a new garment of salvation, a new garment, a new robe. We know we have soiled our robe with so many things, but tonight we are pleading with our God, the mercy for have mercy on us and grant us new garments, Lord. Let's 
in the name of the Bernard that come on us, you so good to so we have a walk, and I just want to say that it was God. We need a real spirit within us, oh God. Renew our spirit within us, oh God. Renew our spirit within us, oh God. Renew our garments, oh King of Kings. God, I put on me a new robe. Renew our garments, oh King of Kings. God, I put on me a new robe. Search us. He should search us and reveal every hidden, anything that we have hidden in our hands, the things we have even ignored. The Holy Spirit who should reveal it to us. We are ready to repent tonight. <laughs> Amen. I want us to pray this prayer we are, that we are repenting of putting on all those ornaments, which is the mockery. We are making mockery. Of we are praying that we are repenting from all this. Mm. 
Father, we cry, we cry, we cry. How many times have we fought? It's a point of the Lord. How many times have we rejected your righteous rule? How many times have we refused to put our faith in your purpose? Oh, Lord, as my husband and my wife, we refuse to put our faith in your purpose. We refuse to put our faith in your purpose. We refuse to put our faith in your purpose. Uriya baba baba ba shiriya baba ba Uriya baba baba ba 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 Uriya baba ba Uriya baba ba Uriya baba ba Uriya baba ba 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 and now that we have repented of making more food of the people of God, go ahead, sister. Sorry. Yeah. But we are we want to pray that the Lord Himself, now that we have repented, He should gift us with this heavenly gift mm. that will make the bride beautiful mm. unto Himself. For your culture, brothers, a fire up here, more free sun, and a few wing. One home on the pet beer, a year, and the abyss, and a year, and a fair one, or a dear name, or from we and subdue, or from we and subdue, and were yes, demo. Prayer. Shall we receive them? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Precious Jesus, I am ready to surrender everything that belongs to the devil. I surrender them and I receive that which belongs to you. I receive your robe of righteousness. I receive your crown of beauty. I receive your torment, O God. Your ring, your earrings of understanding, the discernment, O God. The discernment ring, O God. The beauty and the power in the name of Jesus. We receive them. We receive them, O God. Your joy and your peace. Father, we receive them, O God. Your grace. Let it be abound, let it abound, let it abound, let it abound in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We surrender, we surrender, and we receive that which belongs to us, O God. We receive them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
please, I want us to be silenced before the living God. Hela masiri ya kili habonduri ya ku. Wiyali ya di ya ki ya bondele mere bosiri ya ba. Rumbele makiha. Ya moke le bosundele ma. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I said in my word that if my people shall humble themselves and pray I the Lord would come and do my own thing in them. My eyes go throughout the earth looking for those whose heart are set on me and I the Lord will glorify myself in you. I the Lord are preparing my bride to myself and I the Lord will do that which I have spoken. I am preparing my bride to myself. Your hearts are before me. I know the secret of your heart. If you will confess truly from your heart, I the Lord, I'm the God that's rewarded and I will reward you. I search the heart and I'm looking for the pure words and I'll prepare them to myself. Therefore, take heed to my word for I'm a holy God and that which I said I will do. I am ready to, pre- to bless my people. I am ready to dwell in their midst. I am ready. I am ready. Call on me at all times, and I, the Lord, will answer you, because I reign forever and ever. I bless you tonight. I bless you. It is up to you to hold on and work your salvation with fear and trembling, that you might be found blameless before me. I, the Lord, is holy, and I want my people to be holy. Rala la kori ya bode ya masiha. Narundele mekele bosuri ya daya. Nimbala ya kumbele medu ya liha bosuri ya. Nakala ya bara ya ba. Rondele makuri ya la bosuri ya daya. Rombele mara ya baba. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And you will be for you. Have you never told what a mighty God we say. I say angels bow before oh, him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we lift our voice to you and we celebrate your holy name. God bless you that you visit us whenever we come. You were here before we came. When we came, you revealed yourself to us that indeed you are here in our midst. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the refreshment. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for understanding. And whenever we come like this, oh God, you glorify yourself. If there is any burden on anyone here, we thank you that you are the burden remover. You are the one that break all the yokes and set your people free. We give you worship in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. May God richly bless you. Sister, bless love. In fact, you are indeed love. God bless you, darling. God richly bless you. So powerful. Uh, the morning was so great. And the afternoon was so marvelous. And I believe it is not the works of man. It is the works of God. May God richly bless you. May God richly bless you. We want to welcome those of you who are listening to us from Facebook, from YouTube, from uh, Enzyme Holiness Radio, and also on this platform. If you have not dedicated your life to Jesus yet, that is the only prayer we want to pray now. And then we go to Zoom and we do one, two prayer for a sister who is in our midst. But before then, we want to welcome those of you who are listening to us who have not given your life, who have not determined to make this journey something reality. Please, what are you waiting for? So many things have been said. And I believe this is not a time for argument because you can never be correct. You can never be right. So dedicate your heart to Christ. Invite him into your life. Ask him to become the owner of your soul. And the rest of your life will become a mystery. And the testimony shall never be taken out of your lips. Do you want to do that? Please pray this short prayer after me. Say, Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. I believe you died for my sins. Lord, I am a sinner. Please forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I repent of all my ways. And I regret of the wickedness I have done against you. Lord, I welcome you into my life as my Lord and my personal Savior. Save me from my ways. Save me from the world. And save me from Satan. I receive your heart. I receive your mind. I receive your Holy Spirit baptism so that I will love what you love. And I can hate what you hate. Thank you because you love me. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, we want to show you that that prayer works more than any other prayer. The Lord Jesus has registered your heart in heaven that it belongs to him. But that is just genesis of the whole thing. We encourage you to continue to listen to our teachings. Join us wherever you are joining us from. But the best way is come closer. Take our um, uh, ID number. Join us. We will pray with you. No matter what you are going through, we will pray with you. No matter any situation where you find yourself. And I will believe that the Lord will register your name. Share this video if you can. On your platform. Or on your uh, <clears throat> messenger or whatsoever you want to do it. Share it with a friend or a brother. So that they can understand the divine truth word of god god richard bless you besides that we encourage you if you don't want to join us we encourage you to join other brethren on facebook on youtube social media or in the area where you are in a holiness ministry that are teaching the word of god especially we specialize on very few of them that we can guarantee that people go there and they'll be saved such as heaven seekers ministry such as true shepherd ministry and overcomers ministry and brother michael and brother samson jude these are very few i always recommend i've been with them for some time and i know what they have they have the same substances like us i'm not saying that the other ones are not but these are my recommendation based upon divine conviction but you also have to pray you need to have your own discernment you need to know where you want to be and join them and let us go to heaven together. God richly bless you. Shall we pray and commit the day into the hands of the Lord as we are going to sleep? Let's soak ourselves in the blood. Shall we pray? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we seal this beautiful day. We seal this beautiful knowledge, wisdom and understanding have been transpired on the platform. We glorify your name, O God, and we say that even as we are going to sleep, visit us tonight. Expose anything that needs exposure. Bring into mind whatsoever we have done that needs restitution to be made so that we will restitute and come closer in fellowship and relationship with you. Cover ourselves in the blood. We reject anything that Satan has given to us. We refuse to wear them. 
and any relationship that Satan have had with us in the past, we cut them off. We separate ourselves unto you alone. To you be the glory, now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please don't rush and go. Those of you on Zoom, we're going to pray for one of our sisters. Shall we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You're my brother, you're my sister, so hold me by your hands, together we will walk until we come. Good night, Facebook, good night, YouTube, good night, End Time Holiness Radio. There's no food that can defeat us as we walk in side by side. As long as there is love, we will stand. You're my brother, you're my sister, so take me by your hands. Together we will walk until he comes. There's no foe that can defeat us as he walking.